Hi, this is Guillaume from Graphem Solutions. Uh, welcome to another exciting episode today. So today we're going to talk about how you can block people from trying too many login attempts. And what I mean by that is, uh, by default, if I log out to WordPress, I'm on this kind of default WordPress site. Um, I can enter, a, uh, you know, a username and, and password and try to log in as many times as I want. And so this allow uh, hackers to build script to try to log in your website unlimited amount of times and try to guess your password. So let's say you have an admin password. Well, maybe they, they can guess your password. If you don't have a secure password, they can uh, brute force you. This is this is the term that is used in the language, uh, hacking language, brute force, meaning they, they just try on lots and lots of attempts to log in. So, you do want to limit that so you don't allow them to try to guess. And a way of doing that it would be to deny them after a certain amount of attempt. Um, now, in order to do that, you can do it very easily with a plugin. So someone built it already. So this is why I like WordPress, because if you think of something and you have a need, there's probably a chance someone already built it. All right, so let's go and log in and I'm gonna show you how to install this. So I'm just gonna log in as my admin, whoops. And then um, we're gonna go to plugins. Um, and then you can see the install plugins that you have here. I don't have many because it's a test site. So I'm gonna click add new here or here, doesn't matter. And I'm gonna type in, in limit uh, login attempt attempts reloaded. And this is the one you want by limit login and temporary loaded, basically. Uh, it has a, a million download, a lot of, of, uh, of uh, uh, stars. <laughs> so this is a, a gauge of quality. Uh, so you can go ahead and install it. This is always something I checked, uh, number of downloads, number of uh, ratings, very important. And last update as well, it needs to be pretty recent. If you see like three years ago, well, you might not want to install it because they probably do not maintain it and it could have some security uh, issues. So let's activate. And now you will see there's a new menu right there. And what this does is basically uh, blocking people from trying too many times. If you go to settings now, you will be able to change a little bit these settings. Um, so if you go here, you can have a, an email. So you're notified when someone is locked out. Honestly, I would deactivate that because you will get that a lot. So a lot of hackers are trying on all the WordPress websites. So you'll get a lot of emails. So I would deactivate it unless you really want to know uh, if you, people like you see a lot of activities. Uh, one thing I would do here is probably customize that. So basically what you can do here is says after four attempts, then you lock them out for 20 minutes before they can try again. Um, if you have four locked out, then it will they will uh, be banned for 24 hours. So you can customize that. So you want to be more restrictive, like three attempts, uh, and then you want to lock them for 60 minutes, something like that, right? Um, and then you set your settings. Um, that's pretty much it. And, and the logs, you will be able to see who was banned and who was not. Um, so it could be interesting to see, uh, you know, how many you get. Anyway, so let me show you how this works. So now, we're going to log out and we're going to try to log in with admin and put a random password. And you see there are two attempts remaining. So if I do another attempt, essentially what's going to happen is I'm going to be locked out. So let's try again. I'm going to lock myself out. There we go. I, I, I won't be able to log in again or try to log in again. It won't allow me till 60 minutes. So if I try, wait, wait, wait. it's not going to let me. So, um, yeah, so that's a very great plugin to block people from uh, trying to guess your password. Um, so if you're locked out yourself um, and you want to unlock yourself at some point, you will need to deactivate the plugin. Uh, that's the best way to do it. So this is a bit technical, but you can ask uh, one of your developer to do it. So essentially, the way you would do this is you would uh, go to your web server and you would change essentially uh, the name of the folder. Uh, so let me show you very quickly. I'm gonna bring my screen shortly with the, uh, the root of the folder. So that's the root of the folder right there of the web server. And if I go to WB content, to plugins, you will see I have this plugin here. And the way I can deactivate this plugin is just by changing the uh, URL, sorry, not the URL, but the name of the folder like this. 
And now if I log in again, I should be able to log in. Oops, wrong password. No, it's wrong password. All right, so uh, now let's go to plugin and you can see it's deactivated. So this is the way if you get locked out at some point from your website to do it. Um, so I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know in the comments or uh, send us an email if you have question or other thoughts on this. All right, thank you so much.